This is a 1963 Murray electrical panel fuse box. Um, fuses really aren't inherently more unsafe than uh, breakers. They, um, they actually mechanically they can trip easier and they are safer. But the problem is human error. People putting uh, oversized fuses in sockets, uh, the, the wire size can't handle them. So basically you can see that's the inside of a fuse, there's a little part on the H, that's what actually fries to break the circuit. There's a couple different styles. Um, so basically if they if they, they overheat, the fuse will, will break and you gotta replace them. So the wire size dictates the ampacity, the size of the fuse. So these are 14 gauge wires. Oh, you only can be on a 15 amp fuse. These are 12 gauge wires, can only be on a 20 amp fuse. Now say this is a kitchen, uh, fuse circuit and they got the toaster and everything else running on there and it keeps blowing the fuses so somebody comes down here and and twists out a 20 puts puts it a 20 amp into that circuit and you don't have a blown fuse anymore well the next time instead of a blown fuse it could fry the toaster it could heat up the uh, the wires themselves and it could start a fire so that's the problem with these is you can uh, you can put oversized fuses in the same socket as a as a 15 amp and people will put pennies in there or steel or or um, number of different things to bypass you don't have any over over circuit protection at all um, so this is your main your main fuse right here power supply coming in two hots 120 each and um, I like to take this take this out and take a look at it and feel it to see if it's hot. Um, there's 60 amp fuses in there right now. And it actually can handle more. Uh, the wire size coming in is, is a bigger copper wire that can handle 100 amp. So they actually should just switch these out with 100 amp fuses. But you have to know the wire size, what you're looking at to, to dictate, to upgrade like that. But a 60 amp, Fuse is not very big for a modern house. Um, most houses have 200 amp service nowadays to handle all of our electrical appliances. So say if the dryer, water heater, AC unit, electric heat, we're all going at one time, it could possibly fry the, the main fuses and then you won't have power to the house. So it's kind of inconvenient too. Um, Another problem is people will jump off circuits for the wrong size again. This is, uh, these are 12 gauge wires and they're on a 30 amp circuit. The, the right one, the, these two are 12 gauge. So uh, basically the wires could overheat before the fuses trip. So that circuit should be jumped, you know, added to a different, have its own dedicated circuit. Kind of the other problem with fuses is there's not much space. so. Typically, you'll add a sub-panel to get more space in this, in a box like this, um, so you don't have to jump on other circuits like that. Um, there should be a little grommet in the side hole there, but otherwise, it's all copper wiring and it's all grounded. Um, so you can't be, you don't have to be scared of fuses. You just gotta know what you're looking at and have an electrician or a home inspector take a good look at a panel before you buy a house.